Hey Choppers, we're back with another review, this time for Cage Match. It's an MMM fight game for two players, ages 12 and up, and plays in about 5 to 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and get to the table and start rumbling. So the first thing the players have to do, as in a regular cage match, is to pick who's fighting. So the game comes with a, uh, a couple of them, or at least our review copy came with a couple players. And, and these are double-sided, these, these fighters. So you got the, the females, which are the lightweight class, on the, on the one side. And then you've got the, the males, which are uh, middleweight class. On the on the other side, at least for the for the prototype we got here, I don't know what it looks like in the in the final copy, but uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll 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 just pick two at random over here. So we're gonna go ahead and pick uh, Lisa Lloyd since it's close to Liz's name and um, Alexandria uh, Ovechkin Ovech uh, Ovechkin since it's uh, it's close to my grandson Alexander's name. Hey, you know, it works and everything. So each uh, each character, each fighter has different moves that we'll go over in in a, in a little bit to do. So let's uh, let's go ahead and put them put them there. We go on the table. This one will be over here. You'll it'll be off screen because uh, we'll need the room. But we're going to show you how to do this. Now we're going to need a score sheet to keep track of of hit points for this. And the game comes with this score sheet here. It comes actually a, a couple of them in the prototype. This is a, a blank one here. So we've got to mark down how many hit points we start for our head and for our body. The rule book says that lightweights, which is what the their categories are, are supposed to start with 30 body and 20 head, but that's up in the in the medium or the middleweight category. So I think it's actually supposed to be 18 for head and 24 for body. But then we also have this row of heavy up here, which there's no heavyweights, at least in the prototype that we got. So maybe they'll be included in expansion or in the um, the regular copy that comes out. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna start at 18 and 24 for our fighters here. So it's got a fighter one on this side, fighter two on this side. We'll put 18. And 24 and you can see down here it says that they get a uh, negative one to all rolls so if you your hit points ever drop in the shaded areas here you'll get negative one to your rolls if it's in the shaded area of both sides you'll have negative two to your rolls so we'll go ahead and put this on the board and you can see there's some other stuff in the middle here this is your positions you're gonna have standees that I'm gonna get in a second for these um, for these fighters here and there you'll start off in the standing position, but then you can move down to the ground dominant, if uh, depending on what move you try, or ground submissive if you uh, succumb to a different move from your opponent. Now you lose the game when either your head or your body drops to zero hit points, or if you fail a, uh, a submission. Uh, on the ground, then you win the game if you if you overcome your your opponent when you have them in in submissive form on the ground. We'll go over that in a second. All right. Well, we've got standees for both characters right there. We're gonna put them in the standing position on the the fight board right there. Or actually, sorry, that is the scoreboard. So next we each player gets one of the fight cards here. And the fight cards have two sides. They have the standing side and the ground side. And they are used to reference whenever you do different moves during the game. Where it's got you on there and it's got your opponent on that side. And on the other side it's got submissive and dominant depending on who did what move. So you can see here if you did, you did a jab and your opponent did a punch or a kick right here, both attacks do full damage but jab gains focus. And what focuses is a focus are little chips that you'll be able to use to kind of pump up your different um, your different uh, fighting abilities and different things that you do during the game. So each player gets one of these reference boards there. Players will also get an action pad. Now the action pad is also double-sided, having a standing side and also a ground side for dominant and uh, submissive moves. And how the action pad works is you'll have your action token and each round, depending on what, uh, what position you're in, standing or ground, you will place your token 
your action token on one of the different spots for the move that you want to accomplish that turn. Like if you want to do combo one, you'd place it there and then you'd have to spend your focus. Focus are shown here in the circles and whether it's minus or plus. So you can add to certain moves. So you can see here the low kick gives you a focus as well as the jab like we went over on the, the little uh, chart over there. You'll, you'll gain focus. You'll also gain plus two to rolls. And it also shows which moves do how much damage to which body part. You can see here jab does two damage to the head if it's successful. You can see the, the block and counter does three damage to the body so that you can mark them on the sheet after everything is resolved. And they have them uh, this dual-sided, so for all the moves. So you get that, and you get your action cube. Now, I know what you're saying. They're like, Logan, but they can see what move I'm going to choose. Well, yeah, you're right, except that you get this little sheet here to block. And on the inside of it, it has reference for the turn, all the different um, symbols you need for the game, and general strategy guide. So you're going to place this up where they cannot see. Keep your stuff behind it. I know mine's a little disorganized here, but that's because of you know, the shot for the camera. So normally you, you'd put your your thing here, and like it shows, you choose and reveal. So each player places an action cube on their desired action, places any focus chips there to add power and everything for the moves, and when you're both ready, you're going to reveal your moves. So you're going to pull up your, your little card here so that everybody can, can see. Oop, I'm hitting the camera. Getting a little excited here for fighting. And then you resolve by looking it up, the interactions on the fight card right here. You'll be able to check it and see who does what damage, where you go if you're dropped down to a submissive move or ground move or what's going on with your with your uh, combos and everything. And anytime you have to roll dice, you're going to roll two dice because one player gets red die and the other player is going to get black die, at least with our prototype. And then after that... That, hitting the camera again. Here we go. You record all damage to the head or body that you've taken. You spend or gain any focus that you, you got. Like if you had to put some on the combo one here, you put one focus there. You'll spend that focus to do your combo stuff. And then you also uh, change positions if applicable. Depending on if you go to the ground, if you're from ground, you're going back to uh, standing or what have you. So let's do a little example of a uh, of a round. We have both players at uh, standing. Let's say it's been it's been a couple rounds. They're both at standing. Um, I've had three focus over here on Lisa, and let's go ahead and say it's a, it's the beginning of the round. Let's see, I'm going to use Lisa's special number one right here, trip. See position. I have to be in standing. I'll get zero added onto my dice, but it'll do four damage to her head if it's successful, and we'll get to go to the ground with dominance. And it costs one focus. Uh, so you can see it's a it's a throw right here. I get plus one to my dice rolls on all shoots, throws, and submission attempts, including specials and combos. So plus one. So I'll have no extra pluses, but I got plus one on my die rolls there because my specialty is freestyle wrestling. So let's say I place my cube on my special one. Remember, it's going to cost me one focus, so I've got to put my focus over there also and place it on there. And then uh, Alexandria has already made her, her decision of what she is going to do. So we go ahead and reveal by pulling our cards up and show, yeah, I'm doing my special one. And it looks like Alexandria over here is going to try to do a round kick on me. They'll have minus one to their die roll, but it will do five damage to my body if she's successful. So we go ahead and cross-reference our sheets right here. So I'm doing a throw, and she is doing a punch or kick right here, as it is. It's a kick. So shoot or throw to kick, cross-reference. So we can see there, it says, who's faster? Both fighters roll the dice. Only the winning roll does damage. If a shoot wins, you may go to ground. Now, mine's not a shoot. It's a throw, and it's got that special thing that says go to the ground with dominance. So we'll go ahead. We've got to both roll the die, so I'll roll for Lisa. Um, I've got a two, but it's going to be plus one because of the my, my specialty freestyle. And go ahead and have Alexander roll. 
Ooh, they got a seven. Does she have any special things for stuff? Um, yeah, she's got a plus two on all round kicks and head kicks. So now that's seven, eight, nine. So she wins. So she will be doing the damage, the five damage to me. And uh, since it says only the winner does damage, my damage does not go through. And a shoot didn't win, so we're not going to go to ground. But I still have to pay my focus at the end of the round. Take my damage, put it on the board, so I subtract five damage from that kick. We both take our tokens off of our board, mark everything down, and then it'll go to the next round. Since cage match does encompass a lot of the MMA fighting genre and it fits right in with all the different moves and uh different things that you can do in it we're going to rate it a three on theme because it does really help you feel like you are in there challenging an opponent and uh doing different moves that you can combos specials and stuff we're also going to rate it a two on gameplay because although it doesn't do anything uh, really, really too unique, it um, it does have a re really good gameplay and really good things that you can do, like with the focus chips to pump up your power. You know, you're having the the secret hiding of your moves, so it's it's pretty good uh, gameplay, pretty good mechanics, but not nothing too unique. We are also going to rate it a 2 on replayability because since you can get done with a round in 5 to 10 minutes, you can actually do it like a 3 round match and it's, it makes for a pretty good filler game to come in because it plays so quickly. So I'm Logan for Logan Chops Reviews. Um, you can find Cage Match. You can find it on Amazon. And also, we'll put a link down in the description. So, um, we'll see you next time. Happy gaming.